Okay, so first off, can you talk to us just a little bit about today's press conference and what's the purpose of it? Uh, the purpose is to get the information out to the public about a new program that we're starting initially in Havelock, which and will branch out throughout the county about a syringe exchange program. And uh, this is aimed at helping the addicted population here in Craven County. Uh, what will happen, or what I envision happening, is that we will uh, respond to an overdose incident. And uh, when we get there and we're able to resuscitate someone who has overdosed, uh, we'll be able to assess their needs. If they don't want to come to the hospital and seek treatment, we will be able to give them information about treatment programs. We will be able to offer them Narcan that they can have at their disposal in case they were to overdose again to save them from death uh, and overdose. Uh, we also will offer a needle exchange. Do they have any uh, dirty needles uh, that they would like to exchange? And uh, we'll give them clean needles in exchange for that. And uh, you know, our ultimate goal is to get these people in treatment and get them help. But a lot of the population doesn't want to come in and get the help right away if they aren't ready. And uh, it's our goal to try to help them, you know, get clean needles, clean equipment, sterile needles, so that the spread of HIV and hepatitis. Uh, for us, we're taking the um, we're taking this to the public, taking it to the people who need it the most. So that's what makes it unique: is that you know, at their at their time of crisis, we show up. Uh, we're able to bring them back with the Narcan, and we're able to offer them help. And if they're not ready for help, we're able to offer them the most safe alternatives that we can to, you know, gain their trust so that they can What's them. new to the city of Havelock is that our police are going to be, be able to administer Narcan. Um, the, their training is ongoing right now as we speak, and um, by Friday they will be carried out. We have to also provide the family a kit. That will per, that has Narcan in it for overdose. So um, a family member that is addicted can also get the um, Narcan through the rescue kit. And another just statistic: the emergency department opioid overdose visits in 2011 there was 3,000, and this is just in North Carolina. In 2016 there's been more than 13,000. Uh, overdose in the United States, 64,000. That's more than the HIV crisis. That's more than motor vehicle crash. 